going on everybody welcome back to gluten free learning and today we are going to start tutorial number three which is all about beams so what we're going to look at is the geometry of beams how we're going to construct our project using the beam properties such as different section properties and material properties so before we didn't have to actually define um, section properties that had um, numerical values to them and also different material properties such as steel concrete or whatever different moduluses that are going to affect the way loads affect our project and then we're going to look at load cases and how we can actually apply a set of different load cases say for example if you're taking experimental data and you want to track how a beam is reacting for 10 different points or 10 different load cases so that's going to be a really useful tool when you're dealing with labs usually in school or uh, or in your work or, or whatever so uh, let's jump right in okay so go to your new model space um, remember create a new file create a new directory where you will be saving this um, beam modeling uh, project in because it'll just make everything way neater way easier to follow um, so again if you haven't watched my previous uh, tutorials on how to construct your geometric shapes um, I suggest you do that just so you can follow along better more smoothly but to start off we're just gonna define our nodes and then throw our beams down so first things first we want to get our joint tool selected in the geometry shortcuts tab and like usually like usual we're gonna just start our first node at um, the origin so press okay just like before and uh, we want to put another one let's make this beam um, let's go five meters long so remember we always have to define our nodes first before we put any members between them because if you try and define a member um, you have nothing to connect it to you need the nodes that's the first step so x coordinate five meters and you know what let's make this a double beam so um, 10 meters for our third one so there we go we got one two three three nodes and remember before up in member types when we wanted to define our member we had selected a linear axle spring but in this case we're dealing with beams now so to define the beam go to the left hand side member definition tool remember the fourth one down from the top select it we got a bit of a change and we want to select our beam so beam by default is what comes up so just leave it as it is and then you remember how to do that you click on the one where you want to end it click again and where you want to end it so now we got two beams and it looks like we're out of time for this video in the next one we're going to start defining some section properties